time, Paula from Furnish Chic Emporium, and today we're looking at this uh, pine chunk box that I uh, picked up in a junk shop. Um, I'm going to give it a makeover because it's looking very orange. I've pre-printed a um, image of a, a dress that I got from Fairy Sh Graphic Fairy, and I'm going to transfer that onto there at a later point once I've done the painting. I've, I've kind of started picking out some decoupage napkins. Uh, that I want to kind of use over the corners, but I'm not sure which yet, so I've got to wait till I get the colours on to decide. I'm going to start by putting some black shading underneath, then I'm going to do a coat of grey, and then I'm going to show you some washing and blending techniques using an array of different colours that I think will go with the um, decoupage that we've chosen. So we'll come back when, when I'm at the blending stage so that I can show you how that works. Right. right, hiya, new day. So I thought I'd explain um, what I've done so far and how I've done it. Um, I used some panther and I literally painted two coats, not everywhere, just in areas that I knew I was going to distress afterwards. So it looked very patchy. Once I've done two coats, I've done one coat of pebble grey. Um, and it's important that if you want to try this effect that you only do one coat. Um, after I'd done that and it was dry, I've used the baby wipe, um, cheap ones, doesn't matter what they are, to just rub through gently and bring the black panther through. So it's now looking quite aged and it's a lovely way of distressing, it's a good, it just doing its own right. Some areas I've rubbed a bit too hard and you can start seeing the wood coming back through, but that's okay because we're now going to do some washes to cover it. So that's where we're at so far. Baby wipes finished. So now I've got my array of brushes and I've got one for each colour, quite important that we don't mix them up. And then I've got a dry brush for blending. So I've got a pot of water. I've got two creams, one a little bit more than the other. And I've got some pea soup. And I'm going to use the pea soup as my shadow, as my darker colour. So what I do is dip the brush into the water. So I've got a really wet brush dip it into the paint, probably go again because I want a bit, I want it really wet so it's washy and then I'm going to use that green quite liberally in some of the distressing areas so areas that I might naturally get worn like where I put the black but I'm not going to try and cover the black up so I'm going to use other areas like in here so more water I've got to work quite quickly because this dries quite quickly. So that's my first colour on. I'll just work in this small area. Now I'll take the next brush, water. I'm going to get some of my cream. I'm going to wash that on. that dries I'm going to now use my dry brush to blend that in. Blend all of those in together. What I'm going for is a kind of washed antique look I want it to look like and we chose the piece of it because it kind of picked out some of the colours on the decoupage. So we want a kind of shadow colour and a highlight colour um, but I still want to be able to see the black that I started with. So it might mean that I can do a little bit more wet wiping to bring it back out if I've covered it up. See, they're now all blending in together so once I've done that I might decide that looks a little bit too green so I go back in with my white Dry brush. 
So I'm going to carry on working all around the piece in this way, adding, blending, adding, and then I will show you what it looks like when we're finished uh, before we go on to the next day. Right, so I've got lots of layers going on, lots of colours, lots of distressing. I went back with the um, wet wipes and pulled back some of the black that we put on underneath and I think it's looking really lovely. I fully plan to put a uh, rustic wax on at the end which is going to age it even further. So now I'm at the image transfer stage that we've um, covered before in previous videos so I'm not going to do it in quite so much detail but basically I've gone to the graphics fairy and I've printed off found this image of an address that I liked and I printed it off exactly as it is and stuck it all together and I have spent some time with a pen and a pencil a normal pencil scribbling over the back holding it up to the light to make sure that I've got everything scribbled over I'm then going to place it exactly where I want it and use a pen, not a pencil, to go over, like you did at school, um, all of the lines, all of the letters. Um, when I finish doing that, I should have an imprint underneath it and I'll be able to fill it in with a very small paintbrush and that's the trick, is to use a tiny paintbrush. So once I've got that finished, we'll come back and show you what it looks like. Right, so as you can see, I filled in all of the uh, writing with my paintbrush. I did it in Panther. And it wasn't perfect, what I did wasn't perfect at all, it's quite tricky with a small brush even. Um, but what I did was once it was dry I've rubbed it back with a bit of sandpaper to make it look a bit older, blend it in a bit and it, and it looks just fine. So my last-ish job is to do the decoupage that we planned. So we've torn up some pieces of paper napkin, we've taken off the back two coats, so we're left with the very fragile bit. And I'm now going to decoupage it on growing over a couple of corners so I've got my finishing coat here and I'm just going to liberally put the finishing coat on doesn't matter if I put a bit too much and then place it where I want it very carefully because it's quite fragile once it gets wet it will be very fragile and then I use my brush seal it into place and when necessary if there's any areas I missed I can put just a little dab more finishing coat over the top but I'm being very gentle with my brush and as you can see because I've chosen um, a napkin that's got a very similar colour background to the unit that I've done it's just blending in as if it's been hand painted on, it's just, that's the secret. So what I'll do is come back when I have fin completed all the decoupage, but I'm going to do all the decoupage in exactly the same way. I'll see you in a bit. Right, so as you can see we've put the decoupage on very selectively, less is more. I'm really chuffed with how it looks, I'm, it just looks amazing. I love the the textures and I love the fact that the black that we put underneath still comes through the tissue paper and you can see it so it's still got all the aged effect going on. So the last thing I'm going to do is use rustic wax in a last attempt to age it up even further um, and to finish it off and protect it. So I'm going to do that all over and then I'll come and show you what the completed item looks like. That's all we're going to do now. Okay, see ya. Right, so as you can see it's finished, I absolutely love the rustic wax on it, it's come up really really gorgeous, it's sunk into the cracks of the tissue paper and made that look aged as well, really really chuffed with it, a good day's work as far as I'm concerned. So um, thank you for watching, I hope you learned something, I hope you have a go, please uh, like my page which is www.facebook.com forward slash The Emporium Furniture which will take you straight to Fairy Chic Emporium. Thank you until the next time. Mm -hmm.